the situation of the, the civilian population in Lugansk is absolutely terrible. Uh, every day you have wounded people, every day you have dead people, and this cannot definitely last. Our main concern is the security of the remaining population there with uh, random shelling. The randomness means that you never know when it's going to hit next and therefore it makes movement very difficult. This is why uh, most of the people stay home the whole day and if they can find a shelter in the basements, that's what they do. That's also what we did ourselves. The city is quite cut off from the rest of the country. There's no water, there's no electricity, there's no network for the telephones. Many of the families in uh, Lugansk have been separated with uh, persons of the families leaving to, uh, to other areas either within Ukraine or Russia or in the, uh, in the um, areas. One of the main uh, services that we offered was to take the telephone numbers of those people who are remaining in Lugansk and their relatives wherever they may be so that as soon as we come out of uh, Lugansk city and have network reception then we can make the phone calls and tell them that they are alive and well. From the medical structures that we visited, we were able to collect lists of the essential items needed for the war surgery. And uh, thankfully, our team that followed us a couple of days later were able to bring such war surgery material, such essential material, which can treat up to 600 patients. It's important to note that not even hospitals are safe, that there has been shelling that has hit the hospitals. And, uh, and of course there are not that many of the doctors still able to work there because many of, many of them have left. Transport to and from the hospitals is very difficult so they are, uh, they, those who have stayed are extremely brave and are doing an incredible job.